so celebrate living for local and nobody does that better than the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. So this morning joining me to have a lovely conversation we have Camille Ann Lynch Griffith, the Outreach Coordinator and General Administrator of the TSD Film Festival and of course Tracy Hutchins, the host of Lyman Live. Joining me this morning, welcome and good morning. Good morning, good morning. guys. So we're going to get into it because as much as I know what the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival is about, the onlookers, the viewers who may have heard the term and aren't sure exactly what the plan is need a little info. So how has the platform grown over the years from foundation to today? What is the TTFF about? <laughs> Well, the TTFF is actually 16 years old this year, and the, the whole entire purpose of the film festival is to give a platform for Trinidad and Tobago filmmakers as well as the Caribbean to be able to showcase content that is by us, made for us, and for us to have an ability to see ourselves and our stories generated in film and television. So that's basically the premise of the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. Beautiful. And you've been doing an exceptional job for over a decade then because I have enjoyed so many local films through the TTF. Now, in terms of the upcoming festival, how many screenings and categories are there to be expected? Because this is basically the award show for us. <laughs> well, this year in the film festival, we have 120 films in five categories. That would be documentary, narrative, new media, student film, and then of course Trinidad and Tobago film. And uh, we also have a Horace Ove retrospective. Horace Ove is actually a British Trinidadian filmmaker who won the Hummingbird Silver in 1992. And we're going to be looking at six of his films over the six days of the festival. Mm, nice. Now, Tracy, this pandemic means everything is going to be virtual. <laughs> so in terms <laughs> of going across to how we've made it a little dynamic, a little exciting, tell us how you have come into the fold. Well, I'm going to be uh, hosting the Lyman Live event. Lyman Live is basically an Instagram live informal, like a one-on-one -on -one chat, about 20 minutes mm -hmm. with the actual the faces behind the features, the directors and the industry people, that sort of thing. Um, this is going to be like the first year. This is pretty exciting. This is going to be like the first mm -hmm. year that it is in the festival itself. Okay. Though the Liming Live initiative has been, you know, part of our lives from like March of this year. Okay. So in terms of the ability to get to know, like you said, the people behind the films, perhaps a little bit more as to what inspired us and that sort, that's where we need to be. Mm -hmm. We need to be Lime in life. <laughs> it, it literally is going to be a Lime. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a, a deep dive, you know, trying to pick their brain, trying to find out exactly, you know, like their joys and some of the obstacles that they faced and why film, uh, you know, and then of course there are actual projects that they have that are in the film festival. We're going to be talking about that as well. Okay, beautiful. Now, of course, this creates the opportunity to adhere to protocol, make sure that they're physically <laughs> distanced, but add some dynamics to things. So I, I like it. I'm here for it. Now, you said that's on Instagram Live, right? Yes. So it's going to be from Monday the 20th. Mm -hmm. Monday the 20th to the 28th of September, which I think is a Tuesday. Um, and that's going to be 5 p.m. Um, on the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival's Instagram account. And of course, we just want to say, you know, special thanks also to Shell for sponsoring, Shell Trinidad and Tobago for sponsoring this event. But yes, it's going to be on Instagram at 5 p.m. on starting from Monday afternoon, All Monday right. the 20th. In Mondays are going to be marvelous. Anybody you're looking forward to hosting most? Maybe a favorite or so? You know how, uh, you know how there are those, those parents who say that they love their, all their children <laughs> equally? Good answer. I mean, that's, that, that's going to be my answer because I kind of, I, I got a chance to look at some of the pieces and, and I mean, it's so varied and it is, it's so good. And I mean, like legitimately is good. There are um, emotional documentary pieces. Yeah. There are huge, expansive pieces, and uh, you look at some, you look at them, and you're like, "Wow, this is <laughs> this is joy." 
So I kind of love all my creators um, equally. <laughs> is my answer for that. Yeah. I'll take it. Fair. <laughs> Going back to Camille then, because we understand then the dynamics that you're added with Tracy being part of the fold, as we said. But in terms of the other notable events that are taking place within the T Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival, could you give me an idea of what we may have to look forward to? Panels, topics, anything of the sort? Yeah, so we have, we definitely have some panels that are going to be dealing with some ra wide ranging topics. Mm -hmm. We have one obviously on cultural appropriation. And I mean, that kind of ties into the whole conversation that happened with Michael B. Jordan and Juve. Right. Um, so that's going to be Good really one. interesting. <laughs> Everything is going to be um, located on the ttfilmfestival.com website. We have the yeah. full schedule of all of the panels, workshops. We're also going to have uh q and a's with filmmakers which will be facebook live and youtube so we hitting you from everywhere we're hitting you on instagram we're hitting you on youtube we're hitting you on facebook and if you have an opportunity and you're an industry professional or you want to even learn more about what to create film we have master classes oh, that you can also take part in we also have a master class from um the editor of the academy award-winning film rbg Carla Gutierrez, which is actually sponsored by the U.S. Embassy, which is going to be a really good one because she actually did a TTF test. talk with us earlier on in the year, kind of talking about her process of editing. So there are some really amazing things that are happening in the film festival this year. And I implore people to check it out. Check out ttfilmfestival.com and see what we have coming up. Now, as much as we implore people to check things out, I need to know, are there any costs attached? Are there any sorts of stipulations? The numbers being limited? Anything we need to know if we want to get involved? How do we do yes. that? Yes. Yes. I mean, we would love to be able to give things away for free, but you know, that's not the life that we live in. So <laughs> it's cheap, though. It's like $35 for a film package because okay. most of the way the films are packaged together. It's not just one single film. Well, mm -hmm. it's dependent on the length of it. Um, all of the Horace Orvey retrospective films, which is the six films over the six days, are actually for free. So if you want to check that out, that's a history-making filmmaker that's from Trinidad and Tobago. Check those films out. And opening night, which is on the 21st of September, that is actually going to be two films, which is Candela, um, from a filmmaker from Santo Domingo, and Mano Santa, filmmaker from Puerto Rico, which is a different spin, and that's going to be $55 on the 21st of September from 7 o'clock. And we're trying to make that like if, you know, you have to be there for 7, you know, <laughs> to have the opening ceremony, of opening course. remarks, and a Q&A with the filmmakers afterwards. So, yeah, we have some things going on. So, tfilmfestival.com. It sounds it fun, <laughs> and I actually have had the pleasure to go to film festival openings before pandemics, um, and the red carpet experience is always lovely. Yeah. So I'm actually excited to see how you guys are going to, you know, tune up the excitement for this one, albeit virtual. <laughs> uh, you did mention, though, that a lot of this is being made possible through sponsorships. So we have partnerships with Shell. You've mentioned the American Embassy. Are there any others we should take note of? Yes, our signature sponsor is NGC. Without NGC, a lot of this would not be possible. We also have sponsorship by Republic Bank, NLCB, the Sport and Culture Fund, Ministry of, of Culture, Tourism, Culture and the Arts, as well as programming partners, Filmco, who are the organizers actually of the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. Right. Film TT is also involved. And we also have international programming partnerships with CFAC and Cinematique from French speaking okay. Caribbean, believe it or not, which is really, really cool to be yeah. able to give a platform for Caribbean English speaking filmmakers to have their films shown in French speaking Caribbean, Beautiful. which is something that we don't think about. So we're, we're making inlays with other film festivals in order to showcase Caribbean films. Beautiful. Well, Camille, it sounds to me that in spite of the pandemic, you're very well connecting the Caribbean and the diaspora to make sure that we see ourselves on the television and that we cannot thank you for enough. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Tracy, I'm looking forward to that line. I will be joining you. But for now, lady, <laughs> lady and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us this morning as we continue to us. see ourselves and celebrate, well, not just local, but the region. Thanks again. Thank you. Have yourself a good one, guys. Be well. And in terms of the Film Fest, we can't talk about it and get all the information without a little bit of a sneak preview, a little bit of a sample of what might be there. So, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attentions to your screen. <laughs>